Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and have you ever heard of a disease in dogs where they cannot digest their food? In this video guys, I'm gonna break down what EPI is, how a veterinarian diagnoses it, and how you're gonna manage your doggy moving forward. This is when a doggy fails to produce the appropriate enzymes from the pancreas to digest their food. When we think of the pancreas, it has a couple of really important things for us. One, it's an endocrine organ. It produces insulin, which is huge to control the blood glucose. And two, it's an excrete organ, which means it excretes enzymes to digest food in the dog's intestines. Now, here's the deal. If the exocrine part doesn't work, and the dog digests their food in their stomach, and then it falls into the small intestine, and the pancreas is like, I'm empty, and nothing happens, that food will not be digested down enough to be absorbed by the intestines, so the dog will always be underweight. They will always be look malnourished, and they will always have diarrhea, and they will just struggle, struggle, struggle to thrive. Honestly, guys, I've never seen one thrive. They are just living a rough life. With that being said, here's how we go about diagnosing it. Of course, we must do our preliminary lab work because you don't want to jump to something like this, which is not incredibly common, it does happen, but we need to first do our basic lab work. So we're gonna do our CBC Chem 17 lights, which is our blood work. We're gonna do our x-ray, and we got all that figured out and it looks relatively abnormal. X-rays will probably look fine, but the blood work's gonna have things like low albumin, and we may be deficient in a couple other areas because you know what? We're just struggling. What we're gonna do to diagnose it, guys, is we're gonna do something called a GI panel or a gastrointestinal panel. This panel includes a handful of things, and the things it's gonna include will be a pancreatitis test, a cobalamin, a folate, and the most important thing is a TLI, which is gonna be your trypsin. Trypsin is an enzyme that the pancreas produces, and when you have a doggy that is struggling with EPI, excrement, pancreatic insufficiency, that number will be abnormal. And when it's abnormal, it is very obvious. Of course, your cobalamin and folate will probably also be abnormal, but this number will be very abnormal. And based on that, just like that, you're done. You will do a little fast for this test, and once you fast your dog for about eight hours, do the test, diagnose the dog, and you're on your way. Here's how we're gonna treat the doggy. Get ready to have your mind blown. To treat this problem, you're gonna put enzymes in your dog's food. And then in your dog's food bowl, these enzymes will digest your dog's food. Yes, you take enzymes, mix them into your dog's food. As you sit there making your own breakfast, your dog's food is being digested by enzymes in the food bowl. Wild, wild how far we've come in the veterinary world. The food, the food is digested over a sh very short period of time. Your dog walks over, you're like, hey, go ahead, breakfast is ready. The doggy eats the food that's been digested already in the bowl. It falls into the stomach, the stomach takes it, does its job with its acids. Then the food rolls into the small intestine. Before the small intestine was like, I can't digest these particles, they're way too big. But now the digestion's already happened in the food bowl, so the intestine just sucks it all up and we're good to go. And just like that, guys, body condition gets better, fur and coat gets better, we put on weight, all the abnormal lab work we saw with albumin and other things improves, and the doggy starts to thrive. Unfortunately, you always have to do these enzymes. These enzymes do not make your doggy like healed, but they replace the enzymes that aren't doing their job and that aren't present. So if you're able to mix some enzymes in before each meal, magically, you will have a brand new doggy. And this is incredibly exciting and incredibly cool. And that, my friends, is EPI, or excrement pancreatic insufficiency. What you're gonna see at home, how we diagnose it and how we treat it. And it is an incredibly cool disease to treat because doggies get better and can live very happy, healthy, normal lives.